Alright, I know the last video was a little bit slow, but well, there's a lot going on this time, so you would definitely want to watch it. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you a few things that you might not have known about before. First thing we're going to do here is get ourselves an energy tank. Now, normally you would need the gravity suit to run through this water and uh, dash through the speed blocks at the end of this hall here. However, we can get through these by the use of a quick dash and a shining spark. Um, or the quick charge, I guess, rather. All you need to do is tap the dash button a few times before you actually start holding it, and that will let you charge up just a little bit faster. That's all you need to get your shine spark charged up. Um, at the end of that platform, you want to hit the down button, and that will charge your shine spark. And you want to do a shoulder charge right through those speed blocks and get yourself an energy tank. If you don't know how to do a shoulder charge, uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but it's pretty simple. It's just like doing a vertical shine spark jump. However, you can go sideways by um, pushing the jump button while charged up and then uh, rolling your thumb from the down to left or right position on the d-pad doing the Hadouken movement again just after you hit the jump button and that'll shoot you forward there right through those blocks. It's useful for a few other things as you'll see later in this video. Um, next up we're gonna get some power bombs. Maybe, maybe not, maybe just get okay. I don't know what the point of that was. Not at all. Just ignore that. And then we'll be headed back this direction. Does this look familiar? It should. We'll be going in this room over here for the third time. On this next room you can actually use the quick charge again if you want to, to save yourself a little bit of time. And you can have your charge built up by the time you hit those blocks right there. Otherwise, you'll need to power bomb them like I did, and then you can jump up through here. Now in this next room, there's an invisible platform. You'll see me wall jump off of it right there. And to get onto that, you're gonna wanna jump before you go through the blue door. Um, just before you get there. That way you're jumping as you enter the room and you can just barely hit that platform with the wall jump. An alternative way to do it, it's easier. You can take off the high jump boots and you won't need to wall jump at all. Um, just make sure you're jumping as you go through the door and you'll go forward more quickly. I guess you won't go forward more quickly but rather you'll go up more slowly, something like that. Anyway, it works. Don't question it. <laughs> We're headed to the wrecked ship at this time. Um, of course, we'll be getting a few things on the way. Nothing necessary, but always nice to have as much as you can when you're going for these reverse boss order runs. First thing up is a set of missiles. Regular missiles. I know I don't use missiles very much. They're fun to use, but once you get your beam powered up a little bit, they're not really of much use, so I tend to save them. You always want to use a power bomb right there. You can do it with normal bombs, but that takes a lot of time, and it's not really uh, necessary at all. So. Of course, you can get them earlier if you want to do them with the regular bombs. Now, this next item, a set of super missiles, are actually the is actually the last item that I ever found. Um, it's the only one I had to look up. I just could not find it. I looked everywhere for it, and it's gonna do it. So, what you want to do here is freeze these little jelly booger things while they're down in there. That way you can dash across them. Definitely don't want to fall down in that acid and freeze yourself down there like I almost did. Another thing to pay attention to is make sure you have enough energy to get 
up through these speed blocks, otherwise you're just wasting your time and your energy. Plus you need some energy to get across these spikes here. Now you can get across here with just one time hitting the spikes, but I messed up. Just barely missed it, obviously, so... Um, you, you need about two energy tanks to get through there. So make sure you have that before you try it. Next up, another set of missiles. You don't really need. You can get these earlier in the game if you want with the, the regular bombs. However, power bomb. Much more efficient. I've always wondered why these Kozo are scattered all over this planet. You know? Like why wouldn't they just give Samus this stuff and be like, hey, come and take it? Could kill Mother Brain again. It's not like anyone else has any use for it, so I don't know. Alright, once we get out here to this big room where we landed the ship, we're getting another set of power bombs. Charge yourself there, go to the top of this little hill here, and do a diagonal shine spark. Now to do that, all you have to do is hold the um, angle up button for your gun and jump as normal. And you'll go diagonal. This is the only place in the game where you'll see these green dragons. Just a little bit of trivia there for you. Some power bombs. Power bombs are important. Uh, I would suggest having at least 35 of these before you go to fight Ridley. If you're doing a reverse boss order run, because um, you'll need them to do crystal flashes later. And if you don't know what that is, you'll just have to keep watching, and we'll get to them eventually. Of course, you don't want to save your game. Why would you do that? the save. Alright. Now this next part is one of the hardest parts, in my opinion, the hardest, I guess, techniques to pull off in the game. It's pretty much a pixel perfect kind of thing. You gotta be exact frame by frame kind of thing. Um, what you need to do, start running here, get your shine spark, get up these as quickly as possible. Do a little jump, shoot a missile, and shoulder charge. Um, you have, the missile pretty much has to be right there, where it is now, for it to open that door and allow you to continue through. Otherwise, you'll hit the door or the missile will disappear. It literally has to be right there in that space between the missile box and the uh, edge of the screen. Sorry about that little jump there in the video. Something happened while I was recording. I didn't know. And we did all that for one set of missiles. Yeah. That's it. I kind of forgot that there was nothing over here, so. I guess it wasn't really for nothing. You can see that cool little shoulder charge thing. Give it a try if you want. It is impressive if you can pull that off. It took me quite a long time to do. Um, you can do it without doing the jump at first, and that's what I was trying to do originally, but it's much easier if you jump and then do the shoulder charge, which I didn't realize, and that made it much faster. I guess there is another set of missiles here that we can get before we leave. It wasn't a huge waste of time. After we get out of here, we'll make one more stop in Brinstar and head on over to Meridia, which is the most tedious, horrible part of the reverse boss order run. Yeah, it's pretty awful, I gotta say. Alright, well that's all I have for this time, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.